don't know how to explain it. He's like really big though. Really, really, really big. Probably about as big as the sun. Mm, kept his promises. Um, helped us uh, through hard things. He sent Jesus to earth. God is big enough to have a personal relationship with everyone. The Holy Spirit talks to our soul. Our soul talks to our subconscious. Our subconscious talks to our consciousness, which is aware of us, our personal physical you. What does this Bible say about improving the connection with the Holy Spirit? Matthew 6.6, 6, but when you pray, go into your inner room, shut your door and pray to your Father who is unseen. Luke 6, 12. Now, it was at this time that he went off to the mountain to pray. Luke 9, 18. And it happened while he was praying alone. Acts 9, 40. Then Peter sent them all out of the room. He knelt down and prayed. What it says is, we need to disconnect from the world if we want to hear from God. The Bible is another way of improving our connection with the Holy Spirit. God up here in his 68% talks to the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit can talk to us through our soul as we just described. But the Holy Spirit was also heavily involved with Jesus. The Holy Spirit talked to the prophets and all of their lives and information were put in the Bible and the Bible can speak to our soul. The Bible focuses us on the messages God left for us through its writers. God really is big enough to have a personal relationship with everyone. In this familiar story, Daniel, a devout man of God, was accused of just that, loving God. And so he was thrown into a pit of lions. This was a death sentence at the time, of course. Humans don't fare well against big cats like this. Lions are, as, as you can tell, a large carnivore, apex predator, and a lot of people think of them as vicious and ferocious, and they certainly can be these things, um, but they don't wake up angry. They don't wake up mad looking to kill something. They just wake up really hungry like you do. So for humans who are very ill-equipped to be able to um, compete with their large teeth and large claws, obviously being thrown in with one, um, is not a place that you ever want to find yourself. Um, these guys are excellent hunters. They are you know, apex predators for a reason. They are so good at what they are designed to do, which is catching and, and taking down prey. For somebody who finds themselves face to face with a very hungry lion, it's, um, it's gonna be game over pretty quickly. The king told him as he closed the door and sealed it, your God will protect you. Daniel prayed, and the next morning the king came back and called out, Daniel, did the God that you love so much protect you? And he replied, yes. Angels were sent, and they closed the mouths of these lions, and they did not touch me. Sometimes we find ourselves in our own lion's den, feeling in danger, scared. The story is a reminder that no matter what we go through in our own lives, God is with us and will protect us. God is big enough if we focus on our faith and God's love for us. Ooh.